नमस्ते फ्रॉम दिस साइड टू दैट आई एम स्केचिंग मी एंड आई एम बैक विद गेट इन अदर वीडियो एंड दिस वन इज सुपर इंटरेस्टिंग अजूबी मैक्स हैपन यस टुडे एंड दे शेयर्ड होस्ट ऑफ अमेजिंग फीचर्स फॉर अस टू एक्सप्लोर इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एल बी शेयरिंग द फीचर्स दैट दे हैव शेयर्ड फॉर इलस्ट्रेटिव एंड माई डियर ऑडियंस होल्ड ऑन टू योर सीट्स बिकॉज टेक्स टू बेट जनरेटिव ए आई इज हेयर नाउ Yes, even I can't believe this, and it's so amazing, and I can't wait to show it to you how it works. Let's jump right into that. So all we need to do is we need to go to the properties panel, and here it says text to vector graphic beta. We need to fill in the prompt that we want. So I'm gonna say I want a funny image, actually a funny cartoon image of daily life objects. and let's see what it offers and here are the results that i have received okay let's see what else have they offered interesting and we have an orange as well i can't believe that creating vector graphics is so easy now and you can see this is all vector you can go ahead and like move it around move around the layers of this everything in this output is vector and that's not all my dear friends if we have a particular style of creating illustrations and we want our output to match that style that is also possible now so i have uh, downloaded these couple of illustrations from freepack let's see if this matches the style of this all we need to do is we need to select the style picker option from here go to the style that you want to copy say i want to copy this particular style and say generate beta let's see what happens This is so cool. Can you spot the difference between these two? It's hard though. It's so hard to spot the difference between these illustrations. They look like a part of the same family. And this is so awesome. I just see like the stroke over here is a bit thicker than the one that I have used in my illustration, but I can let go of that. This is so crazy. Okay, let's let's try something else this time. Let's see. Uh, if i ask it to offer me other options for this particular graphic what does it offers say i'm being picky and choosy and i don't like the options that has been offered to me as of now let's see what else does it have to offer oh my god this is crazy you can yourself see that these options of the on the left these are the ones that have been offered to me initially but when i ask them to match the style of this particular illustration these are the examples that i'm getting and they look a part of the same family this this update is crazy okay time for something new let's say instead of subject we want a scene to be created let's go for generative beta oh my god we have our results in place and see they have created an entire post or a scene for this particular prompt that i have given them so for each color maybe what i can do is i can pick each and every color one at a time and then go to the color picker option select it update the color to this so maybe i can do that for all the objects that i have right now but do i need to do that of course no this is a tedious task and i don't want to indulge myself into that i want myself to be indulged into the creativity and creating stuff but not in these tedious and monotonous tasks so let's go for the recolor feature that illustrator has just added time to try the generative recolor option and here we can either select sample prompts like what kind of color do we need for this one maybe this particular prompt we can select and you can see that instantly i have numerous color options for the illustration that i have in hand am i satisfied with this or i am going to be very picky and choosy with what is illustrator is offering me right now so we can use this prompt option for those picky people like me let's go to prompt and say summer by the sea i want a monochrome color scheme let's write in the prompt and see what it says i'm pretty sure it will be having some really exciting results to offer me and i can't wait to see those this is fancy it's it's a combination of pink orange and purple but it's not a monochrome color scheme but these two will pass for the monochrome color scheme okay let's give it another prompt and say old retro like this and say old retro and we have the options not bad 
I am pretty impressed Illustrator. Now that we know this um, recolor option, let's move back to the AI that Illustrator is offering and instead of scene, now I want an icon. So let's go for it. This is crazy. I have so many icons right now. Let's see what what's the last option says pattern. I wouldn't mind having one. This is epic guys. So it's selecting the objects and then adding the pattern to it. This is crazy. OMG. I can't believe it's really happening. I don't have to create these tedious patterns. This is crazy. Illustrator is not done yet. So uh, let's go to these. Uh, let's go back to the subject type and here we go to, not here. We go to sample prompts using this option. Now there are six prompts that they have offered as sample prompts. So let's go for this big juicy bogo. And let's see what it says. Oh my god, I'm having such a delicious burger on my screen right now that I'm feeling so hungry. See the details and it's all vector. This is pretty awesome. Okay, I like this particular illustration. Why not have this illustration in the style of this illustration? So let's choose this one. Let's change the prompt to a funny cartoon of daily life objects. So this was the initial prompt that we have used to create this particular object. So let's change the prompt back to that. Now let's select the style picker tool and let's go to this burger option and then go to generate beta and see what it offers us. This is insane guys. See the details that this illustration is now having and I'm loving the style that has been offered to this particular illustration. I can't tell you how excited I am to see these cute illustrations being offered to me right now. And I'm in love with this char illustration. These are so cool. So guys, here you have it. The awesome features that Adobe just released in Adobe Max 2023 that happened yesterday. And here I have shown you the text to vector option that is now available to all of us. Under that, we can go for subject, scene, icon or pattern. We can select either of the types as per our requirements. Not only that, we can also copy the style using the style picker option available to us so that it matches the style of the illustrations that we are creating for a particular branding or even for our own personal use. Not only that, we have sample prompts which has been offered to us. We can go around and play with these prompts or maybe use the style used in these prompts to style our own illustrations. It's not limited to only that. We can also go ahead and use the recolor AI option that has been added to us and have multiple color options for our illustrations and we can choose the one that suits best. This is crazy. I'm still trying to digest and I can't wait to see what all we can do and create with these options that has been offered to us right now. Our creativity can go to any levels with these options offered to us. I hope you enjoyed the video and you are as excited as I am to go ahead and explore these options. So don't stay with me any longer. Just go ahead to your systems and dig into this. Hasta la vista. Chiaro.